Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi my name is Valentina. I'm a makeup lover and I like to test makeup products and in today's video I'm going to test a new setting spray and I have this Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to use it for the first time in today's video and I'm also going to show you how I created this simple everyday makeup look by using some of my favorite makeup products. So if you like what you see and want to find out more then keep on watching. First I'm going to start with my primer and for my primer today I'm going to use this Dior Forever Glow Veil. And uh, I like to use two pumps for my entire face. And for my foundation, I'm going to use this uh, Barur Gold Skin Matte Foundation by Guerlain. This is my favorite foundation right now. I like to use one pump for my entire face. I'm going to apply my foundation with this brush. This is by Misa 01S. I need the most coverage in this area, so I'm going to start from here and to build the coverage from this area to the rest of my face. And then I like to go over with my beauty blender to press the foundation into my skin. I think this is the best foundation I have in my collection right now. I like the coverage, I like the finish, it's very long lasting. It's something about it that makes me want to use it almost every day. So I highly recommend you to try this foundation. Next I'll move on to my concealer and uh, for my concealer today I'm going to use this Dior Forever Skin Correct. This is a new concealer from Dior and I really like it. it has a very nice coverage and a pretty finish and also lasts very well all day. So I want to use this today and uh, I also use it as my eyeshadow primer. Before I'll move on and uh, I'll set everything with powder, I want to use my cream bronzer. So um, for today, I'm going to use this one by Chanel. This is Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. This cream bronzer is amazing for someone like me with uh, texture, acne, has a very nice natural finish, look very pretty up close and it's also very long lasting. I like to use just this cream bronzer. I set it with powder and uh, last all day on me. And the perfect brush for my uh, face shape is this one by uh, Misa. This is 02S. It's small and uh, has this angled shape and it's very good for uh, my cream bronzer. And I'll set everything in place with this uh, Givenchy Prisma Libre Powder. And I like to use a powder puff to press the powder into my skin. I feel like in this way I get uh, a very flawless finish and uh, my makeup lasts longer. I've tried so many 
great powders over the years but i think that uh, this one is the best so far it's great as a, a setting powder, as a finishing powder, it's great for everything. Moving on to my blush, I'm going to use this one by Givenchy. This is a Prisma Libre blush. This blush is gorgeous, I really like the color, the finish, and the last very well all day. Moving on to highlighter. For my highlighter today, I'm going to use this new highlighter by uh, Charlotte Tilbury. This is Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter and uh, I've used this one for the first time in my last video. Okay, gorgeous finish. I've used this highlighter every day since my last video and I'm obsessed. Last all day and I really like the finish. I like this one more than I like the Rare Beauty highlighter. So as a little update since my last video, I have to say that I really like this highlighter. But if you want to see a first impression, I definitely recommend you to check my last video. I have something new to test in today's video and uh, it's a setting spray. I'm not a huge believer in uh, setting sprays. For me, they don't really do much. But about this setting spray, I've heard great things. So uh, I am very curious to try it and to see if this one will do something for my uh, skin so for today i'm going to test this uh, setting spray by charlotte tilbury this is the famous airbrush flawless setting spray by charlotte tilbury and i got the travel size version because i'm not very sure that i will like this one but uh, we will see so this primes and uh, sets for up to 16 hours to party all night and uh, stay all day and uh, this is how the bottle look I'm very curious to see if this one will uh, make my makeup last longer but for now I want to see how my makeup will look uh, after I spray this uh, all over the skin. So I'm going to apply this first on the side of my face so I could see better if it's doing something for my makeup and I'm going to cover this part. I like the mist of it, it's very fine and uh, the product gets everywhere has a really nice cooling effect and uh, a pretty scent so uh, let's see how my skin look uh, up close so i like the mist i like how everything uh, melts into my skin right now i really like how my skin looks on this side and now this side looks uh, a little bit powdery i'm not going to apply it on this side of my face because I want to see how my skin will look uh, at the end of the video. So I will move on with the rest of my makeup and uh, I'll give you my final impressions for this one uh, at the end of the video. Next I'll move on to my eyes and uh, for my eyeshadow palette today, I'm going to use this one by Natasha Denona. This is my dream eyeshadow palette. I like everything in this eyeshadow palette. All of these colors are very pretty. I can use this eyeshadow palette to create something for every day, but also something for a night out. So I think this is very good. But today I want to show you what I like to do on my eyes for my everyday makeup. Something very simple and easy. I always like to use something uh, with shimmer all over the eyelids. So I'm going to use this color Nothing too glittery for every day, so this color is perfect. So I like to put something like this all over the eyelids. And then I like to use a little angled brush with 
a darker color from uh, my eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to use uh, this black color uh, for today. And I like to create a little baby wing on this uh, outer corner. This technique for every day is amazing. You don't need so much time and the finish is very pretty. So I've been loving to do this for my uh, everyday makeup look. I'll use a little bit of this uh, highlighter by Charlotte Tilbury on my inner corners and then I'll apply my mascara. And for my mascara, I'm going to use this Sephora Big Bad Definition. Okay, look at the difference on this side. This mascara is Amazing. My bottom lashes are very long, so I don't like to use mascara there for every day. But I like to use uh, this angle brush that I've used to create this wing. And I like to put a little bit of shadow. And then I use my concealer brush to blend everything there. And on my lips, I'm going to use this 2 by Charlotte Tilbury, this lip liner with this lipstick in a pillow talk. I love to use this for every day, but also for uh, events. Have a very pretty color that look good with everything and also these last all day so these two are my favorites for my lips if it's one lip liner that worth your money is this one by charlotte tilbury i don't know what's in this but makes my lips look amazing. I'm obsessed and I sometimes like to use this one alone all over the lips. I like the color, I like the finish, so I definitely recommend you to try this lip liner. So this is the finished makeup look and the final impressions for my new setting spray by Charlotte Tilbury, this airbrush flawless setting spray. I don't know why but I feel like my makeup look better on this side. My skin looks glowy from far, but it's not looking greasy up close. I do see a difference uh, from the two sides. This side looks more powdery. I also feel like my pores are not so visible on this side. It's my first setting spray uh, that do something for my makeup. So now I am very curious to see if this one will make my makeup last all day and all night because it's supposed to make your makeup last for up to 16 hours so i'm very impressed how this setting spray melts all the powders together so i could have this uh, nice finish so for now i have to say that i really like the finish i like how uh, this setting spray uh, makes my skin look i will definitely use this setting spray again and uh, test it and i will update you about everything in my next video I would love to know from you guys if you have this setting spray and if you like it and also if you like the finished makeup look. But that's everything for today. I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you like it. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also ring the bell to be notified when I upload. I post every week, so make sure to hit the notification bell. I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!